Israeli football is on the rise. This week, Info Live TV spoke with Danny Rubens, communications director at Bolton Wanderers, the English Premiership club, about to sign Israeli international Idan Tal. Danny, um, we hear in Israel rumours uh, about Idan Tal maybe joining the club. Can you clarify for us what's going on there? Yeah, he still hasn't joined us as yet. Um, the situation remains. Um, it's an ongoing situation. Obviously, our uh, um, our manager and his son. Uh, it's been widely reported that they've, they're involved in in the transfer at the moment of Idan Tal, and uh, you know we we've worked professionally and properly to try and bring the player in, and it's still. Um, it's still at those stages, really. We're hoping that it will go through in the next um, few days or so, but at the moment, we're still awaiting the situation on what might happen with Idan Tal. OK, so if Idan does join the club, that would make two Israelis with you at Bolton. What's the attraction? Well, Israel are a quality nation at the moment, and they were unlucky not to qualify for the World Cup. They had a, a fantastic qualification in the, in, the, in the World Cup qualifiers where they, I think they went through the, the whole campaign without losing a game and they were unfortunate not to qualify. And Israel is becoming a real hotbed of the game now and there's some quality players coming through and we've seen Tal Ben Haim become one of the best centre-backs in, in the English game and we've got Yossi Ben Ayuin at, um, at West Ham who's proven to be one of the most influential, most creative midfielders. And hopefully if Idan Tal does join us and his record speaks for itself. He's currently with Maccabi Haifa. They're going all out to try and win the, um, the Israeli championship. He's had premiership experience. So all is well at the moment. And I think Israel is definitely uh, a progressive nation when it comes to football. How does a club like Bolton find out about these sort of players? Do you have scouts working in Israel? We've got an extensive scouting network that covers most areas of the world and Israel is actually you know, firmly on that map. You've got to keep tabs on, on, the, on the best players around the world and Israel is firmly in that bracket. Now, um, Danny, at Bolton you seem to have uh, players from all over the world there. How do you manage to gel the team? I mean, is coaching a problem, getting the team together? Not at all, no. I mean, we work closely with all the players and it's all about developing um, camaraderie between all the different nations. We've got 17 different nations represented mm -hmm. in the first team squad six different religions and Sam Allardyce is a natural of bringing all these players together and, and working as a unit and it's proved to be the case. We're, we're currently in the top seven in the Premiership. We've had European football for the first time in the club's history this season and things are going from strength to strength. But the common language, I suppose, is football. You know, everybody can speak football, understands football. Should we expect to see more Israeli players join Bolton in the future? Who knows? I mean, we're on the lookout for players of all from all different backgrounds and different nationalities, if they've got the ability and they can improve the squad, then yeah, we'll always be on the lookout to bring players in. Right, well, Danny Rubens, um, please uh, pass our best regards to Tal Ben Haim from Israel, from Jerusalem, and uh, you know, we wish you luck with the transfer of Idan Tal as well, and we wish you luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, much appreciated. Bye-bye. Cheers.